I want to spend just one moment um, going through a few clips that are all of my pillow CEO and founder Mike Lindell. This isn't really about Mike Lindell in particular, but this is about the sort of psychosis that seems to have afflicted so many on the right over the last week as Republicans failed to win winnable seats in the House, Senate and governor's races. Republicans are going to take control of the House. They will not have control of the Senate and they lost some key gubernatorial races. Take a look at this. Mike Pillow was at Mar-a-Lago yesterday for Donald Trump's announcement for 2024. He is now saying, I have the proof Carrie Lake really won the governor's race in Arizona. She didn't. I have the proof that Blake Masters really won the Senate race in Arizona. He did not. How long are they going to do this? How long are they going to tell the exact same stories for which they have no evidence? It seems like it is years, years. Listen to this. We bought them. They're absolutely caught. Everything that was done in Arizona, we caught they it. are caught. And I was going to just the tip of the spear for unraveling. See, there's tens and tens of thousands of citizens that are looking for a place to reach out. They're going to do sworn affidavits of what happened. Remember, affidavits are not evidence. They can be accepted as claims that are still evaluated like testimony. Affidavits are not evidence, strictly speaking. I don't think there's a judge in this country that can't say we need a new election down there in Arizona. And now uh, can, can you imagine a new election in Arizona? There's going to be no new election. Steve Bannon's already talking about decertification or prevention of certification again. There's no such thing. Carrie Lake lost. Blake Masters lost. More people voted for their opponents. That's what happened. Just for Carrie Lake. Remember, they took Mark Finchins too. They took Blake Masters. They were all stole. And I don't care. They were stole. They were stole, folks. Doesn't matter what anyone says. We already know this. We were watching it from the Edison report. We were watching it cyberly and cyberly. They were they saw it stole cyberly. Think of it. We were watching just blatantly. The citizens were all watching. So you have imagine having three different camera angles of a crime. When you have a crime of this magnitude committed, you can't certify this election. Yeah, folks, this is part of why they lost in 2022. I, mean, I I don't want to say that the sole reason Republicans did so terribly was their insistence on election denial. But to some degree, certain candidates harping on it was stoled, as Pillow says, did not help them. This is now a religion. It's not it's no longer. Well, we think 2020 was stolen. No, now it's we think 22 was stolen. We believe they're going to steal 2024 unless we win, in which case we zip our lips and shut our mouths. Here's another clip of Pillow losing the little bits that were that are left of his mind, I guess, as the Kerry Lake results came in. This guy is very unwell. What she has then was an image, uh, all the images before they came in and did the trusted build. So these uh, these teams, uh, these team of uh, experts, cyber guy, everything yeah. for seven months now have uh, there was a came out with the first report, the second report. This is the one we've all been waiting for because this shows actual machine manipulation. <laughs> it shows it shows the manipulation, not just that they can be manipulated, but that our 2020 election was deleted. It he has no such evidence and he has never presented it. It has been two years now. It's manipulated um, all these things and, and not just that, but they also the election, another election they had in uh, in Colorado. So you have two sets of proof there and yeah. there I was no proof cited Steve because it's vindicated. It's here. It's over. The uh, these guys are guilty. And and these uh, when these uh, you're, if you when you see these uh, the credentials these guys have. By the way, we put it up on Frank Speech exclusively. Yeah. You can go there and view this report and and the stuff that backs it up where they got the stuff from. And yeah. uh, so I looked good. for it. There is absolutely no proof there. You know, if Mike Pillow came forward and said, you know what, I was wrong. I don't have the proof. I I, I don't have it. And even if I suspect that something was was amiss, I don't have any of the proof I claim to have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I would actually respect the guy to some degree. Uh, Mike uh, Pillow also yesterday at Mar-a-Lago with the completely and obviously incorrect claim that today Ron DeSantis would be endorsing Trump for president. We're halfway through the day more. 
and DeSantis has not done that. Here we are live at Mar a Lago. Look at all the fake news from around the world. I just had a ball with them, uh, talking to almost all of them. Uh, they asked me about uh, Ron DeSantis running against Donald Trump, and I said, after tonight, Ron will just endorse him in the morning. You gotta believe that. Why would you want to waste all that? Time, energy, money, and everything else. So very exciting here. And uh, another one of Mike Pillow's predictions that obviously isn't coming true unless in the next few hours Ron DeSantis decides to come out and endorse Trump for president. I don't believe that's going to happen. And if you if you allow me to bet on that, I'm not a betting man, but I would bet on that. We are going to take a quick break. Make sure that you are following us on Instagram at David Pakman Show. All of these clips we played are on our Instagram. After this short break, we're going to look at polling. We're going to look at the existing campaign for being Trump's vice president. There's really one person right now who's uh, in the middle of that campaign, and that's Marjorie Taylor Greene and so many other things.